Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you six ways to transfer your files to Onyx Books devices. The first way is to use a USB cable. If you're using a Mac, it doesn't work straight out of the box. You need to install an app called Android File Transfer. After that, when you connect your books to your Mac, it will show up like this. Then you can just drag your files into it. The second way is to use a USB-C drive, directly plug it into the Onyx Books devices. So it will automatically recognize it. I had a video on this. Uh, you need to use the correct file system. So you can read the books directly on the drive, but if you remove the drive, the books will also be removed from your library. So you may consider, you know, copy it to your local library. So it's pretty straightforward. You just long press the icon and uh, copy and navigate to your local storage and paste. Then you can refresh your uh, library. Uh, if you add your file to a different a new folder, you add it to the scanning pass like this. So refresh and you'll find the books. The third way is to use the Books Drop app. I had a video on this. If your devices are connected on the same Wi-Fi, it's pretty straightforward. If not, you can use the push.books.com services. Another way is to use the Books Assistant app on iPhone or Android. You just use the push function. You can push a local file or on your cloud drive uh, to your Books devices. It's pretty fast. Wait a few seconds and it will be there. Mm, wait. Okay. Okay, it showed up. So let me show you how it looks like on my phone. Uh, I use the iCloud Drive here. So this is how it looks on the books devices. So the next way is to use email. I have my Note Air here. It has the email set up. You just send an email with the email attachment. You can open it directly. So open with, I open it with new reader. It looks okay. It will automatically copy it to your library. So the last way is to use a cloud drive services of your choice. I use Google Drive now. You can open the file directly in Google Drive using its built-in PDF viewer, or you can open with new reader on your device. Here is the summary of all the methods I mentioned. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.